The shooting over the weekend is another example of how violence has broken out in a space that is not intended for large events. Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman reports on South City resident who is pushing for short term rental reform. The Ponas have hit the tipping point with seven problem rentals in their neighborhood, particularly next door. We don't have the same safety. We don't have the same confidence. We don't know who our neighbor will be night from night. As a result, they put up anti short term rental posters seen around town, which have gained hundreds of supporters online, pushing for solutions such as having an owner on site. Limit the number of properties that are available for short term rentals in a radius, be it 500 feet or 1000 feet. They shouldn't be close to schools. Um, they shouldn't be in historic neighborhoods like this. There have been so many problems at this short term rental at South Kings Highway for years, but over the last few weeks, it's gotten so bad that residents started putting out these signs. Neighborhoods are for neighbors, not short term rentals, echoing problems around the city and county. You have a quality of life being ruined. You have a homeowner who's sunk his heart and soul into their property, and all of a sudden some outside entities coming in and running a business in what should be a residential area. Alderman Joe Volmer will be one of the council members supporting bills 33 and 34, proposing new regulations. Top of mind, having an on-site or nearby property owner. You can always amend it, but there is so much is not in bill 33 and 34 that we need to put into them uh, and to bring this thing in, into focus and to, to, to keep these people in line. The bills will go before the St. Louis Board of Aldermen at Tuesday morning's Transportation and Commerce Committee meeting. We need to be setting the standard for short term rentals, not bringing up the rear. Reporting in South St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.